What's up everybody, we're back with another video. Now, today's video just basically takes place after the whole Koi video. Um, and something interesting really happened, so yesterday, which is today's still Thursday, so yesterday it was Wednesday, um, I got a call from another friend of mine um, who said that he's looking to get rid of some goldfish. Um, they were his sisters, but now she's quite busy with work, so she wasn't able to look after them. Uh, he's busy with work. Uh, basically, everyone's been <laughs> busy with work. Very busy family they got there. Um, so I've gone ahead and I actually went and set up one of my old aquariums that I wasn't going to be using. Um, and I'm really excited to do it because I always love setting up aquariums. So let me go ahead and show you what we're doing um, and explain a bit more about it. So this is the aquarium in question. I went ahead and I set it up yesterday, um, filled it up with water. Um, there was a bit of waste at the bottom, so I strained all that out, which is why the water level is slightly lower. Um, I added in a sponge filter from one of my previous aquariums that was up and running. It's still up and running, to be fair. Um, and, and that's only got one fish in that, so I've kind of moved him out into the four-foot aquarium. Um, well, I'm going to be moving him out today into the four-foot aquarium, sorry. Just, just because that aquarium isn't really being used for much, and I, I really can't be bothered to keep it open. Um, it's just always dark, there's no lights, and I couldn't be really bothered to buy a light for it. There's no lid and waste water, so I'm just going to get rid of it for now. If I need to set it up again, I can. Uh, and the reason is, I wasn't planning on using this for anything um, in the near future. So, it's actually quite exciting to go ahead and set up a new tank, and I'm really looking forward to it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to steal some of the substrate from the old tank, and I'm going to put it in here. Um... The reason I'm not using the old tank is just because I, I kind of wanted like just tear that down um, and put it to one side for the moment just because the top is always open so it drains out a lot of water um, which isn't great. Now the good thing about this tank is that it's not running any heaters so it's only heated by the room um, which is perfect because I don't have to add any ex extra. This basically requires no extra energy the only thing it requires is water and the reason is if we pan over here, I am using an air pump to obviously run the filtration, hence why there's a sponge filter. Now this air pump has four outlets. One goes into this tank, as you can see the air pump is there to um, manage this aquarium. Two go into this aquarium up here, let me stand up, Ugh. Um, for the air stones, yay and yay at the back. And so there's one extra one that wasn't being used. In fact, it was actually, when this had water in it, it was being used to, to just run an airline into there. There was no pump. And so now it's being used for this aquarium. So literally, there's no extra energy charge, no heating required. And all I have to do is put fish in. This is already cycled um, and just monitor them. It's only going to be two goldfish. And I'm really excited just to do this. Though. I might add some substrate in. Um, I want to add in some decorations, but I don't have anything yet. I'm thinking about what I can put in because I know I can't put any plants in, which really sucks. Uh, goldfish love to devour plants, but we shall see. So, uh, so if we take a look, the room sits at 23.4 degrees, and that's great because then the water is going to be kept at similar temperatures 23 24 degrees um which doesn't require any heating and that actually works out really well for this aquarium too because this aquarium is at 24 degrees it's got a heater in there but it's quite a big aquarium and it's quite a big heat a uh, small heater so a lot of the room is actually just warming up the temperature which sorry warming up the water uh which makes it a lot easier for me and i probably don't even need uh, a heater for the bottom aquarium and i might actually take it out because platys do well in temperate waters anyway so I can always do that if I choose to. Now, what I'm gonna do is it's still quite early, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the substrate out of the other tank, chuck it into this tank, um, and then what we'll do is go and pick up the fish. All right, so as you can see, I pretty much skipped filming any of the setting up of this aquarium. Um, I went ahead and I took some of the old substrate from um, one of my other aquariums that I've basically not used, uh, the, the one with the parrotfish in it. Um, and I also managed to steal the tank that these guys were in, thanks Rashad. Um, and basically I've got some decorations that came with that tank as well as some of the substrate just to add on to it because it was a really thin layer. Um, and I, I really wanted to just um, 
give it a bit more depth. Uh, yeah, so you can see the two little goldfish on the left-hand side. They seem to be doing a-okay. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's pretty easy to acclimate them, just drip acclimate them for about 20 minutes. Um, again, these, these are goldfish, so they're more needed just temper acclimate, temperature acclimation than anything else. Um, and that was fairly quick, so I didn't have to worry about that. And yeah, they seem to be quite happy in their new home. It is a bit bigger than their old tank, so they do seem really, really small. So I might actually add something to this tank. I don't know yet. Um, gonna keep an eye on them for a few weeks just to make sure that they are okay with the transition and that they're happy uh, before going ahead and doing anything else. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, I'm just like <laughs> watching them. They're really cute, and I've never actually had like indoor goldfish before. I have a few out in the pond, but those, those guys are, are quite big. Um, and that's probably the reason why I didn't put them out in the pond. Um, it was just because they're quite small and the food that I feed the pond fish um, is significantly bigger, so they would have a hard time eating it. So it's easy for me to just keep an eye on them and monitor them, make sure that they're eating if they're indoors um, and they're in their own separate tank. Uh, so it's quite exciting. I've um, not really, I wanted to do a cold water tank. Um, but I just keep I just kept on putting it off mainly because um, my local fish store has a couple of good cold water fish, but I wanted to do more than just goldfish. Um, so what I do is I've already got the goldfish in place, but now I have to look for some white cloud minnows. I think those those would look quite nice in here as well, um, and they would just add a bit more activity in because these guys are actually quite small compared to the size of the tank. Um, I mean, to be honest, I don't even know if I need to do that. I might even change my mind. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but if I do, that will probably be the way I go. So I'll just keep an eye on them, see how they're doing. They... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So what I'll do is... I haven't fed them yet, so maybe in a day or two, I'll go ahead and feed them. Just let them get a bit more acclimated to their own environment. Um, I've only put the light on for the, the sake of this. Uh, I'll keep the lights off as well, just, just to reduce the amount of stress that they're going through. Uh, but they look to be in perfect health, unlike, um... Yeah, so that's all good. They don't seem to have anything. Goldfish tend to get ill quite often, uh, or it, they have a high propensity for getting ill, so... They're doing pretty well. In fact, these are three, year, three years old. Um, so that's really good as well, that they've been kept in proper health. Uh, yeah, so... Got a long road with these goldfish, you know, up to 10, 15 years. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say. I'm just trying to think of something. But, nah, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, again, just trying to quickly think if I've got anything else to say. No, I think that's it. Yeah, no, super psyched for this video. Um, and I hope you guys are all keeping safe. Pretty much got a whole bunch of videos to make in the next few days, so those will come out over the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Once again, thank you so much to, um, my friend and his family for, you know, thinking of me when they wanted to give them a better home. I'm quite happy about that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.